Well, it's on fourth day on the Isle of Man, and with me is Sir Lawrence New, uh, the ex-governor of the Isle of Man. We're just working, I was trying to work out what years it was again. Remind me. 1985 to 90. What happened all that time? Seems like... <laughs> it, it was Amazing. the happiest five years of our lives, I have yeah. to say that, but uh, quite a lot's happened since then. We left the island for five years after that, and I ran a company in London, Officers' Pension Society, fought the War Widows campaign and succeeded. So there are at least 11 people on this island who were broke, and then now I've got a decent pension, That's which fantastic. is very rewarding, really. Now, on Force Day, what does it mean to you? Well, it means quite a lot, especially that we celebrate it on a Saturday here. Mm. The, uh, sorry, on a Sunday. The rest of the UK celebrated on a Saturday, mm -hmm. and I think it's largely lost its way. It needs to have a service at its central point, and I'm so glad that we've stuck to that, and the mm. committee challenged this year, I think, and insisted that it should be on a Sunday. So we look forward to the march on the promenade and then to that really excellent service which the Archdeacon presides over, but the Bishop, who was Deputy Chaplain General in the Army until recently, uh, will give his thoughts in the centre as a sort of mini-sermon. Right. So the march, who takes part in that? Because that's obviously what we're looking at here mm -hmm. coming along the promenade. Well, uh, there are regulars uh, with the gunner regiment that is associated with the island. That's a reserve regiment, which is rather special. We have our own reserve company on the island, which is getting on well. We have uh, all the veterans, who are a surprisingly large number when they all turn out. We have school children, and uh, we have cadets and firemen and that sort of thing. So it's quite a multi Flex. And how should the public look upon it? Is it, is it just to remember the armed forces or do you try and raise money at the same time for the good causes? Well, there's certainly no direct appeal for money, no. but there's an indirect appeal in that we're asked, we're all asked to, to remember mm. those who died for us and uh, those who gave their lives and those who are still severely injured, of course. Is it more poignant now than probably it has been in decades gone by? This year particularly, I think, as we come up to the 100th anniversary and uh, we all... Uh, remember people who we served with who are no longer alive. Uh, it's quite a, an emotional day, I think, really, and I think it will be in the villa. It's, um, it's going to be a lovely service. Manx Youth Band and Concert Brass giving the music there, which is a great honour because the marching bands are made up of all uh, the other mm. bands that are willing to take part, but Manx Youth Band and Concert Brass have the prime spot, which is super. And back to you, anything else you got in the pipeline? Because obviously you're still very much part of the Isle of Man's DNA. Um, I try very hard not to be, and it's <laughs> kind of you to ask me to speak now, but <laughs> try hard to keep a low profile. That's very enjoyable, in fact. Try hard not to get involved in anything um, that's difficult. Um, made that mistake once, and I won't make it again. Um, quite busy with our church. Uh, St. Augustine's, which has Jules Gomez as its very talented preacher and leader, and enjoy really doing less. Right, and look at the weather today. I can't know. beat this place. Can we count a day like this? I think the Lord is smiling on us.